Despite the economic hardship in Ghana, good farming remains an untapped gold mine and in today's video we are going to look at how we can make fortunes out of it. If this is your first time, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. My name is Kekeli Michael. With the economic hardship rocking the shores of Ghana and Africa at large, good farming stands as a steady vessel. The demand for good meat is evergreen, making it a venture worth every city. The profitability of good farming is as enticing as a well grilled goat. All you need is a modest investment, and the returns are very hearty and fulfilling. Embarking on a journey without a compass could lead you into a storm of unforeseen challenges. But fear not, for we have the perfect compass to guide you. When it comes to location, goats are very versatile creatures. They thrive in various terrain, yet a slightly hilly terrain with abundant vegetation is ideal. Uh, it provides natural exercise and variety of forage for your goats. Your farm should be easily accessible for transportation of goats, feed and other supplies. A location near town or market can reduce the transportation cost and improve market access. Also, an ample supply of clean water is crucial for the health of and well-being of your goats. Ensure a reliable source of water is within reach. While goats are hardy, extreme weather conditions can affect their health and productivity. A moderate climate like the ones we have here is ideal. Take a look at the background. This video was taken on the border of Israel. You can see the land here is very rocky and it beats all imagination that with the abundant resources we have in Ghana, yet we don't do large-scale goat farming. These people have to break rocks before they get arable land to farm. I, I don't understand why you should stay home and say you won't farm. When it comes to veterinary services, regular checkups by a qualified veterinarian will keep your head very healthy and productive. Vaccination, deworming, and prompt treatment of illness are non-negotiable. A veterinarian can also provide valuable advice on the nutritional need of your goods, ensuring they are well fed and nourished. Also, expert advice on breeding can help improve the genetic quality of your herd, leading to a healthier and more productive goods. Understanding the demand and supply dynamics of good meat and other products is crucial in Ghana. It helps in planning for production to meet the market demand. Being knowledgeable about the prevailing market price will ensure that you get the best return on your investment. Let's do a simple exercise. Go online, gg.com, and compare the prices of goods listed by individual sellers. Look out for competition. Know your competitors. Understanding the strengths and weaknesses of other good farms can help you carve out a niche for your farm. Do your own research on consumer preferences. Are the customers inclined towards organic meat, larger goods, or a particular breed? Knowing what the market wants is half the battle won. Imagine you go and bring a boa boat which is costing around 10000 and how are you going to sell it to the local market? With the right location, a strong veterinary support system, and a keen understanding of the market dynamics, you are not just farming. You are crafting a legacy of prosperity. Your good farming venture is more than just a business. It's a voyage towards financial independence with a promise of a treasure trove awaiting. When it comes to selecting breeds, the West African Dwarf and the Sahelian breed are the jewels of Ghana. They are hardy, adaptable, and prolific breeders. They are your allies in this venture. The growth potential in goat farming is slow but rewarding. Starting with 20 females and 5 males, let's do the math. 
with a gestation period of 150 days, a goat can give birth twice a year. Assuming each birthing results in twins, in a year, your head could grow by 80 new kids. It's numbers game and the odds are in your favor. Let's consider the cost of production. The cost encompasses feeding, veterinary care, and shelter. Yet compared to other livestock, goats are low maintenance, making it a cost-effective venture. Marketing and pricing. Your local markets, restaurants, and festive season are your gold rush. A healthy goat can fetch anywhere from 200 cities to 700 cities or more. Sell 100 goats in a year, and you are looking at a treasure chest of profit. Security on a farm. A well-fenced farm and a watchful eye are your fortress against predators and theft. You know Ghana. Ghanaians can still goat. When it comes to feeding and farming system, your local vegetation, crop residues, and formulated feeds are your sustenance. The extensive farming system is your best bet in Ghana, allowing goats to graze freely and thrive. Five tips for beginners. Learn from veterans. Avoid overstocking. Ensure regular veterinary checkup. Keep accurate record and stay updated on market trends. Dodge the common pitfall and strive confidently on the path of good farming success. Like any venture, challenges like diseases, market fluctuations, and unfavorable weather conditions will arise. Yet, with proper management and resilience, the bounty at the end is worth every hurdle. The magic has always been in the work that we reject. If you think this is too difficult for you, what you can do is also visit villages and buy large quantity of goods and supply to our chore bars and stuff. And this is also a means to also cash out from this venture. If you can supply 10 to 50 animals, I bet you I can be your middleman and connect you to someone who take it off you and take a 10% commission. If your mind day, just link up and we'll discuss business. So there you have it. With the right approach, your modest good farm could be your ticket to financial freedom. So are you ready to embark on this rewarding journey? Mm-hmm.